Don't give me a fish, show me how to catch it. Good news everyone, diamonds can actually be made in labs. Bad news is it's not that simple. Especially in western societies, diamond rings are the way to go for married couples. They are bought at staggeringly high prices but are not actually that expensive if bought in bulk. But that's not our topic. Diamonds are simply pure carbon that has been pressured deep within the earth's mantle for more than a billion years. Under those extreme conditions, not all substances can maintain a useful structure, but carbon is special because it can form multiple stable structures and it possesses a unique atomic bonding which allows for different transformations. Diamonds are also the hardest known substance. That's why they are used in industry, especially for cutting glass. In 1954, some General Electric researchers thought about mimicking the natural process to make diamonds. They used a massive hydraulic press that could generate extreme pressures and temperatures, a method which is known as high pressure high temperature process. But that's not the only way to create a diamond. Chemical vapor deposition offers another way that also mimics the natural process. They start with a seed, which is simply a thin layer of diamond that serves as a reference to guide and orient the growth. The seed is placed inside a sealed chamber filled with carbon containing gas. Microwaves heat the gases to around 800 degrees Celsius, creating a plasma state that breaks down gas molecules to separate carbon atoms. These atoms then rain down onto the seed plate, with the diamond growing vertically like a microscopic tower. This method allows manufacturers to produce specific colors by adding trace elements during growth and can create perfectly pure diamonds in mere weeks, a process that naturally takes billions of years. When a diamond forms naturally, several impurities like nitrogen enter the stone, creating unique growth patterns and tiny mineral bubbles inside it. Like many of you know, natural diamonds are slightly more expensive than synthesized ones. They can be differentiated by special devices that scan the impurities, along with the growth patterns and optical characteristics. With more and more diamonds being manufactured, they will certainly become quite cheaper with time, thus becoming more accessible for industry but also giving up the demand for blood diamonds.